Hi, I'm Shane Kale with SEM Connections. And today is part of our Get Smart series, I'm going to walk you through the planning notes functionality in IBP. This functionality allows you to attach notes to planning objects in IBP for specific time buckets. Planning notes is a newer feature in IBP that helps organizations to collaborate more effectively and efficiently when it comes to supply chain planning. For example, you can update a forecast for a product in a given month in the future and attach a note explaining the reason for the update. That way in the future, if you or another planner in your organization wanted to research why the forecast adjustment was made, you can easily access the planning note in IBP. For the demonstration today, I'm going to walk you through an example of a sporting goods manufacturer where we're going to update the forecast for sales of basketballs for a retail chain customer and utilize planning notes to document the update. In this example, I have a forecast for a retail customer called USA Sports that is forecasted to purchase 200 basketballs per month for May, June, and July. However, let's say that a representative from USA Sports notified the sporting goods manufacturer that they expect basketball sales to rise to 300 units in July. In this case, I can adjust the forecast for July and insert a planning note so that I don't forget why I made this change to the forecast. Now let's take a look at how this functionality works in IBP. In this planning view, I have our retailer customer, USA Sports, and a sales forecast quantity for sporting goods. I have baseballs, basketballs, and footballs. So if I wanted to update the sales forecast for basketballs in July 2019, I can go into the cell and change the forecast from 200 units to 300 units. And then if I right click, I can add a planning note. I'm going to say USA Sports communicated that sales for basketballs are expected to increase to 300 units in July 2019. Perfect. So now I won't forget why I made the change for the forecast for this particular time period and this particular product. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to save the data. Sales changes one and planning notes changes one. Perfect. So after I click save, the data will update to the database. And once I hover over the cell, I can view my planning note. So I have the date the planning note was saved, who saved it, along with the value, and the text for the planning note. Perfect. So now another great feature about planning notes is that I can aggregate notes between different time buckets. So for example, if we look at the same forecast in quarters instead of months, I'll be able to see the planning note that I saved at the monthly level in Q3 2019. So I hover over this forecast for 700 units for this quarter, and I can see my planning note that I entered at the monthly level. So if I right click and then click on show planning notes, I can see my planning note that I entered for July 2019. I can also aggregate planning notes between the product hierarchy. So if I go into this forecast for sporting goods product family, since basketballs is part of this product family, I can view my planning note. You can see it's the same planning note for basketballs. And if I right click, I can show planning notes and view the same information. So planning notes are really good in terms of aggregating between hierarchies and time buckets, which makes it easy to effectively communicate changes amongst planners within my organization. Now I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.